After Jesus ascended to heaven, Christianity swept across the land and many believed. Jesus' disciples and all who trusted in him were filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, performing miracles, and preaching to thousands of people. One such apostle was named Paul. He took God's message to the Gentiles. Paul began traveling to areas far away to preach about Jesus. One of the cities he visited was called Lystra. There he and his friend Barnabas began to preach to the people, telling them that Jesus was the promised one who could save them from their sins. Paul performed many signs and wonders, and people were amazed. Those that were sick came from all over to be healed. Paul wasn't preaching any ordinary message. He was a messenger from God. Thousands of people listened to God's message and turned to Jesus. The religious leaders were not happy about this. They stirred up the people and made up lies about Paul and Barnabas. One day, the people were so furious that they dragged Paul away and started to stone him. Like Stephen was stoned, they wanted to kill Paul too. They thought that they had killed Paul, so they dragged him outside the city. But that was not the end. God's power came over Paul, and he stood up and went right back to preaching in the town. The people were amazed. On another journey, Paul and his friend Silas were put into jail for preaching. That night, as they sat chained in a jail cell, they decided to start singing and praying. Then something strange happened. An earthquake started to shake the prison. The prisoners' chains fell off and the jail door opened. Everyone could escape, but no one did. Then Paul told him that all the prisoners were still there. The jailer was relieved. He invited Paul to come to his house to preach the good news. That night at the jailer's house, Paul and Silas told them about Jesus, and the jailer and his entire household believed and were baptized. Paul went on many more missionary journeys to bring the gospel of Jesus to as many people as he could. One time he was headed to Rome, but had to journey by sea. As they were drifting on the water, a violent storm erupted and forced their ship into the rocks. Paul and everyone else nearly drowned. They were in the water for a long time, but the current eventually swept them to shore. There they were, stranded on a little island, but everyone was unharmed. Paul was right. No one had died. Even on this remote island, shivering in the cold and recovering from shipwreck, Paul preached the gospel and healed the sick. Many came to believe in Jesus. Paul was unstoppable. With God's power, he kept preaching and planting churches. He was beaten, stoned, whipped, imprisoned, starved, punished, robbed, falsely accused, and suffered greatly. But he kept going. Paul was more than just a missionary, traveler, preacher, and healer. He also wrote long letters. The many letters that Paul wrote to the churches he planted have been preserved for us in the Bible. These letters are inspired, and they teach us about Jesus and about how to live as Christians. God used Paul to spread the good news to many countries.